The Ghana Boundary Commission has been up to quite a lot in the last few uh, years. I'd just like to set the tone for the conversation, starting from some of what you've been up to, especially in the last two years. I'll start with you, Sarah. Okay. All right. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning to your listeners. So the Ghana Boundary Commission, as you said, we relatively new. We were, I mean, came to force fully in 2021, even though we were established by an act of parliament in 2010. Mm. In 2020, that's when we had our national coordinator appointed. But we became fully operational in 2021. And since then, I mean, two, three years, we've done quite a lot, as you said. What our mandate is, is to ensure that our boundaries, international boundaries, that's land and maritime, are secured. So that's what we've been doing in the years that we've been in existence, ensuring that our boundaries are properly demarcated or delimited. Mm -hmm. And it's also good for us to be here today, because even as we are talking about boundaries, today, 7th June, marks the African Border Day by African Union member states. So thought it was good today to come here, talk about the commission and also about the day. Mm. Yeah. Let me come to you, Rev. So two years running, two years of work. We know what established or what caused the establishment of the Ghana Boundary Commission, but please expand a little on that and also tell us a bit more about what you've been up to over this period. Okay, so <clears throat> thank you very much and good morning to your listeners. The Ghana Boundary Commission is uh, doing a lot of work on our maritime and land boundaries, we have tackled the eastern part of our boundary, the northern and the western part um, with Togo, a popular dollar power area. We had to uh, get some issues resolved on our boundary pillars that have been removed and some encroachments along the place. Um, the northern part, uh, Saplega area, we went there to secure the boundary, the pillars. The most, most of the issues are with the pillars. People try to remove the pillars and we make sure... People try to remove the yes, pillars. When you say people, Ghanaians, for people from the other side, um, depending on which border? You, we, we've not caught anybody doing so, so you cannot say per se who exactly is. But it's, it's alleged. Sometimes it's alleged the other side do it. Sometimes it's alleged some people on our side. But people remove the pillars and we try to find the pillars and re repost them uh, in conjunction with our neighbours. Mm. All the all work we have to do on the boundaries, we, we sometimes go and do uh, uh, reconnaissance and search, but definitely if we have to re-put the pillars back, we do it together with the neighboring uh, countries. So in, in, the, in the eastern side also, we've done some work. Maritime, yes, a lot of negotiations are going on. We recently had an inspection on the uh, it lost ruling. We went to do some inspection on the maritime. So we've been working, even though we have a, had a few years uh, operating. Mm.